IQ Neo 7 Pro device comes with FunTouch OS 13 and in FunTouch OS there is lots of bloatware and ads there so the pop-up comes for the app recommendation and as well as in the lock screen magazine or poster the ad link also comes so in this particular video i will show you how you can completely remove bloatware and make your fun touch os or iq neo 7 pro device completely ad free and it will be very smooth and it will look like almost the stock android so without further delay let's get started so first of all when you are setting up the device after factory reset or after buying online you have to disable this app recommendation services every option in this page so it will be like you send the users data or the recommendation everything each and everything just disable it as of now if you need anything you can enable later from the setting and next after booting up your device in the launcher you will see lots of third-party applications like Amazon, Facebook, LinkedIn, Spotify, Netflix. This kind of applications are bloater and third-party bloater. You can uninstall it very easily from the launcher. Just hold that app icon and uninstall it. So in this way, you will be able to remove all the third-party bloater which can be uninstalled officially from IQ or Vivo or Fantage OS. But there is almost 22 application packages which you cannot easily uninstall or disable right away from your android mobile or in the system ui for that you have to use some tools android debloater or some adb shell command line tools but the issue is that you cannot run those command on your mobile you have to have a desktop or laptop and connect it via the usb cable to run those commands so let's get started how you can remove those 22 or 23 or something this kind of number bloater apps which is installed in your system so first of all you have to enable the usb debugging it is very easy go to setting about phone and the software information then seven taps on the build number then it you will maybe ask the password or pattern enter and the developer mode is activated now go to the developer mode by setting system and developer options now enable the usb debugging toggle and click ok after that you have to connect to the desktop if you are using any windows so i will give the post link here in the description of this video so you can go there and you can download all those things so from there you have to download the android platform tools and if you are using the linux version so you just use this command and it will install your adb tools command line tools in your system of or the desktop or pc so in this way it is just done and if you are in linux you do not need to install the adb driver but if you are in windows you need also to install the adb driver so you can do both things i have written in detail post so i will give that post link in the description so in this way the setup is complete and now if here the main thing is that this is the complete list of the bloatware which is you cannot easily uninstall via the app mobile you have to use the command line so here you will notice the app name is sometimes the similar but the package name is different so you have to uninstall those applications based on the package name so i've already written the package name so if you do not know any package name of any application which is showing in your phone you can use any package name viewer application so this is also linked here so you can install those and use that to know the package name anyway now move to the uninstall command so uninstall command will be pm space uninstall dash k dash dash user zero zero user means the default user which were started the mobile the zero user automatically created if now the mobiles can be used a multiple user so for the default user it will be uninstalled so if the uninstall command is here disable command is here enable command is here now the thing is that there is three application i manager vivo cloud or the vivo iq website these three applications you cannot easily uninstall by this pm uninstall command because they are protected user protected basically and there is another way to fix that so it will give the this error failure user 
delete failed user restricted so for zero user you cannot do it for there is another way if you are using funtouch os 12 run this command and in the, instead of package name you give the imanager package name it will be done if you are using funtouch os for this device iq neo 7 pro you have to use this version 13 command and you have to re give the package name basically these three package name imanager website and bbk cloud so this three application is protected so you can uninstall it very easily via this command so so as i said there is 22 apps so we have to run one by one command 22 times so this will be a problematic but wait i am here to help you so i have written a total commands in single line just you have to double click copy and run those command in the terminal here you can see i have run that command so success 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 all her came and the last three line this is basically the protected application so this way you can uninstall it and remember i have also added the google ok google hardware detection and the google application and basically google assistant i have also added because i don't like to use that so if you want to remove that google and skip that google things you can remove that application package name from here but these i think right now present days hardly any user use that ok google things after coming to chat gpt so if you're not familiar with this command line you can also use the debloater gui so there is a gui application i have given the link of github here so this will open in this way so we can also graphically select those in the left tab all the application you can select one by one and then in the bottom you can perform all the things once but here the protected application will not work using this gui so so for the protected application like this vivo cloud website and i manager you have to use this command only so after removing everything here you can see the how the clean fund choice will look like look here no bloater is there only this kind of application so basically the gallery calculator calendar camera chrome these are the basic things file gmail map sms music phone play store the remote application because it has ir blaster setting and the voice recorder then the video player weather and youtube and themes does required here because this is the theme application which you able to change the wallpaper and ringtone so theme is integrated there but theme does not have the app ads by default because your system theme showing up there but it does not send you any notification so in this way very easily you can remove the bloater and ads from Fantage OS 13 and this post link i have given in the description and you will not get this kind of in detail each and everything written in detail post you cannot find easily on internet so i have post that link in the description to check out from there thanks a lot for watching this video see you soon in my next video till then goodbye take care and be safe